Uh, Laura, amazing article today in the Wall Street Journal regarding job seekers and employers using bots. Yes, I've, I've, I've heard of it, uh, meaning I've heard of the article. Exploding the numbers and no one getting anywhere will be interesting to follow what develops. I'll tell you what will develop. Do you want me to just tell you what's going to happen? Okay, let me, I haven't read the article, but let me guess what it says. It says, it says, employers are using AI to screen applicants. The employers have been using systems to screen applicants forever. It's called the applicant trashing system. They're just using a different applicant trashing system that has some AI or whatever. Okay, that starts the issue. Then the job seeker says, I'll show you. I'll let AI write my resume that matches your job description, and then I'll use some tool to spray it everywhere. So you got a system and a system. Then what happens? Forever and all time, remember this. And in, you, you, you might have heard me say this a lot over the last month, and I just said something not using these words about my business. I have a business that will never change. Not that it won't have. Not that it won't evolve and my tools and techniques won't evolve and my platforms won't evolve, but everybody, no matter who you are, for all time will always want a good job that they can go to or one that they enjoy or one that they can stomach, right? That will never change, no matter what. That's right. And 20 years ago, and as a recruiter, and, they, and I saw all the articles and all the things about how executive recruiters are going to go away and, and, and companies are not going to need to do this and zip recruiter is going to annihilate everything. That's never going to happen because it's, a, it's, it's people hiring people for all time. Even, even though some systems might replace people, I would be more worried, I would be more worried about a person who understands AI replacing you, whoever you are, who are not willing to learn new skills and these kind of things, because that person's just going to be cheaper. It's not that you need to learn AI. It's that you need to learn how to use AI and interact with it or whatever it might be, whatever the flavor of the month is going to be next month. And so what, what happens is you got a bot looking at something another bot sent, and then they say, okay, let's meet. And then employers are going to interview you, and you're not going to look the part, you're not going to act the part, you're not going to be able to speak to the part, and you're not going to have any evidence or substantiation or numbers or whatever it is that shows them what you've done and how what you've done is going to help them solve their problems. So they're going to get tired of that, and they're going to get tired of that real fast. Then what they're going to do is they're going to start making you create videos, kind of like the on-demand one-way interviews. That will go up and up and up because they're not going to want to talk to you until they know that you actually know what you're doing. So whoever's running AI to write their resume or do any, I'm not talking about it using an Andy AI to help you improve your resume, but Get, getting the right raw material in order first is the key to success. And if you want to use other things like ChatGPT or Claude or Andy AI, which would be my preference, it to, to make it better, more power to you. But that's because you know what you're doing. A lot of people don't know what they're doing, and employers are going to get real tired. So the people that do know what they're doing are going to suffer. I Mark my words. This is what's going to happen. So the number of, of, of uh, on-demand interviews is going to go up and up. If you think it's bad now, it's going to get way, way worse. So, so I can tell you that's what's going to happen. I don't know how fast that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. But even so, you're going to go and you're going to create your video. It's going to say, I'm Andy. I know how to do this. This is what I do. This is how I help job seekers. This is how I help people develop in their careers and blah, blah, blah. They're going to say, Andy, you look the part. We're going to interview you. You still got to interview you're still going to have to talk to people. You're still going to have to know how to tell interview stories. You're still going to have to know how to negotiate, right? That will never go away. So I'm not worried about my business. I'm worried about what's happening to you all as a job seeker because of this. So Laura, I'm guessing I'm going to read that article at some point, maybe today or tomorrow. Maybe I'll read it over lunch. And, uh, and that's what I think is going to happen. I don't know what the article said. I only saw the headline. Who agrees with me? Right? This is this is this is where we're going. So that's that's the news.